Hi, my name is Shravan Vasisht. I'm a professor of linguistics at the University of Potsdam in Germany. And I'm going to give you a short introduction to this introduction to Bayesian data analysis, which is an open access course that will be provided at the portal openhpi.de of the Hasse Plattner Institute. This course is free, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going to be in this course and what you can expect to learn from it. So, what we will do in this course is that we will study the foundational ideas behind Bayesian methodology in data analysis. And we will run for four weeks. This course will run for four weeks. And there are short lectures followed by quizzes and exercises that you can do. And if you want a final certificate of completion, then you can do a final exam. The details for that will, of course, be on the OpenHPI website. This course is designed for a specific audience. So this course is appropriate for people, if you, uh, those, for people who already know uh, statistical data analysis a little bit. That means you should have done a little bit of R programming. You should have done some statistical data analysis, for example, t-tests or linear models, maybe even linear mixed models. But if you're a complete newcomer to data analysis and you don't know any R, then this course is probably not appropriate for you. I'm also assuming in this course that you remember basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division from school, some very basic set theory, really elementary stuff, and just the basics of probability theory, for example, the sum and product rule, and maybe you've seen conditional probability in the past, even though you may not have used it in practical settings. What I'm going to do uh, in this course is to teach you modern computational tools for doing Bayesian analysis. So you want to, you should want to learn about that, right? So you should be interested in uh, wanting to know about these latest probabilistic programming languages that are available nowadays, right? One very important thing that I assume in this course is what I call a can-do mindset. And what I mean by that is that you need to have the ability to research questions that you don't have answers to, that you maybe not have, may not have understood in the course of the lecture, which need a little bit more detail that is missing from the lecture. So you, can, you should be able to look this up yourself and to work on this yourself. And I've actually prepared a little video and also a short blog post that spells out what I mean by this. This is a very important attitude that you need to bring to the study of anything that is technical, not just statistics. If you're doing anything else, it's the same issue. You have to have this attitude of being able to unpack problems, simplify them, and to deal with them in a way that gives you um, a better understanding of the material. So that's what I mean by can-do attitude, can-do can -do mindset. So you should look at this. Uh, uh, this lecture, this little video recording, and this blog post. What are we going to do in this course? Well, we are going to look at foundational ideas in, about probability distributions and random variables, really basic things, right? And then we will look at Bayes' rule, and we will use the Bayes' rule in practical applications using analytical examples, so just paper, pencil examples. And then I will switch to doing more computational Bayes. That means I'll be using software packages, in particular BRMS, which is a front end to the probabilistic programming language Stan, I'll be using this package to demonstrate how you can fit uh, more complex models, such as linear models and the end hierarchical models as well, right? So although we won't actually get our hands dirty with the STAN programming language, we will be using a front end called BRMS that uses the STAN language. And this should prepare you for the future when you want to write customized models in the STAN language. So this is kind of an entry into the world of probabilistic programming using uh, this very powerful new language, relatively new language called STAN. Right? I will focus in the computational part of the course, I will focus on regression modeling, linear models, and maybe a little bit of uh, hierarchical modeling, not a lot. But these are the foundational ideas that you need to build more complex models. So that's why this is such an important topic, in my view. OK, so as I mentioned, you can, after finishing this course, look at more advanced topics in Bayesian modeling, and you'll be able to do a lot more complex things that um, uh, require this foundation that I'm going to teach. I will be using a textbook that we have written. 
This book is available online and it will remain online. It will be published very soon with CRC Press, but the online version of the book will be accessible to you at all times. And in this course at the Hasoplatna Institute portal, I will provide a PDF for the, of this textbook so that you can read it offline as well, right? Okay, so my advice to you would be to use this book as you're watching the lectures, you sh as after you watch one week's lectures, it's a good idea to actually read the lecture notes because they solidify the ideas that I present in short uh, lectures. I, they expand on those ideas in the lecture notes, so you should look at those carefully. And um, uh, once you finish this course, I would advise you to take a look at the rest of the chapters in the book because these are the chapters that give you access to the more complex models that are available in, uh, in Bayesian methodology using the stamp probabilistic programming language. Now, in order to prepare for this course, what you should do is you should install R and RStudio if you haven't done that already. You should also install all the libraries that are mentioned in the introduction in the textbook. Right, so I will provide the installation code. And uh, you should also familiarize yourself with the R Markdown uh, uh, framework in order to write code in a reproducible way. This is a very important thing, a very important skill that you should acquire as, as a data analyst to be able to produce reproducible code, right? But this is, all, this is optional. You, of course, don't need R Markdown for this course. It's just my suggestion that you will do well if you actually learn how to use R Markdown for your own data analysis problems. In closing, I want to mention that this course is partially funded by a collaborative research center that runs at Potsdam in the linguistics and psychology departments, in the cognitive science department. This is called uh, Sonderforschungsbereich in German. And the title of this collaborative research center is The Limits of Variability in Language. So I look forward to seeing you in this course and I hope that you have fun.